everyone, welcome back to Callie and Bean's Books. I'm Brittany and today I have my October book corner for you. Unfortunately, it's gonna be a little different. I didn't actually finish a book this month. It was a slow reading month for me. I was hopefully going to get this book done and many more, but unfortunately I just ran out of time and with moving it was just chaotic for me. So reading went on the back burner and I hope to uh, kind of readjust and get back into reading the next couple of weeks. But there's a lot going on in my life that might hinder the reading. So uh, the book that I picked up in the beginning of October was The Night Country by Melissa Elbert. This is the sequel to The Hazelwood that I read last October and I really enjoyed that book. However, this one's really falling flat. I was just expecting a dark fairy tale, like twisted tales kind of thing. I'm not getting much of that in this book and I just feel like nothing's really happened. I'm hoping going forward in the last like 50 or so pages that I've left everything gets wrapped up and I actually enjoy the ending. It's kind of what happened in Hazelwood. It felt very slow and you know I didn't really know what was going on and then twists and turns and I'm really hoping that's how the rest of the night country goes but right now I'm pretty disappointed and it was a letdown so far, but I will keep you guys posted on how I liked it in the end. Hopefully I'll finish that this weekend, but again, I've got so much going on that I have no idea when that'll get done. So for the rest of the video, I'm just going to go into kind of an extended floating TBR. I know that sometimes I like to have just a short list of books, but this one I'm going to extend it a little bit and kind of give you an idea of what I'm looking forward to reading the rest of 2020 and into 2021 is crazy that we're almost into November and it's almost time for the new year. That's insane. But I have a list of books, some from YA fantasy and some from adult romance. However, the first book I want to mention that was actually one of my goals for 2020 was to read this series. And I am talking about Lord of the Rings. Starting off with The Fellowship of the Ring. Of course, the series is by J.R.R. Tolkien. I made it a goal of mine at the end of 2019 and into 2020 that I wanted to read these books. I absolutely love the movie adaptations but I really want to get into the core of the story and really understand why it's so loved for so long. So I'm going to start obviously with The Fellowship of the Ring, then go into The Two Towers, finishing it up with The Return of the King, and I might throw in The Hobbit, of course. I know it's written in Old English, so it can be kind of difficult to read, so I probably will break up the books, probably read one and then read a couple other ones and then kind of go back and forth. I just don't know yet. I just know that I want to try to at least finish the Fellowship of the Ring by the end of the year. My YA fantasy picks that I have going into the remaining of the year, I do want to, I do want to read The Beautiful by Renee Audier. So originally I was supposed to buddy read The Beautiful with Callison and we kind of put it off. I put it off, let's be real. And then I was like, oh, let's read in October. And you know, she has her wedding. So it was just, it got busy and fortunately I didn't get to read it. I just really like the concept of the story. So I wanna jump into that and read that by the end of the year and possibly pick up the sequel. I don't know, it kind of depends on how I feel about the first one. The next book that is on my shelves that I do wanna read by the end of 2020 is Reflection by Elizabeth Lim. And yes, I know I said I was done reading fairy tale retellings. However, this one has been on my mind for a while and I absolutely adore Elizabeth Lim's writing style. I find it magical and I can really get into her stories so easily. So I do want to pick this story up at some point. I know I'm putting a lot on my plate for the rest of the 2020, but I do want to get to this book as soon as I can. Going into books that I do not have on my shelves that I'm really looking forward to reading. Of course there's Blood and Honey by Shelby Marin. This is the sequel to Serpent and Dove from last year that I absolutely loved. It was definitely one of my favorites of 2019. As soon as I have my hands on it I do plan on reading it right away. However it's just going out and actually purchasing it right now just because I want to kind of keep my budget under control. Another book that is out that I've been dying to get my hands on but still hesitant on reading right away is Aurora Burning by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff and this is the sequel of course to Aurora Rising. This is a book that I've heard some amazing things about but it's also very heartbreaking so I'm very hesitant to read it right away because I'd want the finale just to have my hands on that right away. So we'll see. I know that's going to be high on my list going into 21 as well. Another one that I wanted to mention is Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. I've heard some amazing things about this book and the cover is just so 
pretty that I do want to get my hands on it and do want to read it. But this is also one that will probably be pushed more into 2021. I just wanted to mention it that this is one of those books that I've been anticipating to read. It's just I haven't had the chance to and haven't had time. That wraps up the YA fantasy portion of my floating TBR. Going into my adult romance, I have three picks that I have on my shelves currently, and then I have four picks that I don't have that I do plan on picking up here soon. So the first one is The Right Swipe by Alicia Ray. I've heard amazing things about this story. I absolutely adore the concept and can't wait to read this book. I do plan on doing a romance readathon in February, so I don't know if my adult romance picks will be during the holidays or during February. I just know that I do want to sprinkle those in because I miss reading adult romance. It's been a while with all of the fairy tale retellings that I've been reading. I just really want to jump back into adult romance and these will probably be some of the top picks for getting back into it. And the next two I've actually found at Half Price Books and didn't really hear a lot about it. Um, but then again, I haven't been all in on reading up on new releases and things like that. So it's partly my fault for not actually looking into things, but these books did catch my eye. And the first one is The Boyfriend Project by Farrah Rochin. And this reminds me of John Tucker Must Die. So I'm looking forward to seeing how if it compares at all to that movie or if it's completely original on its own. The next book that I wanted to mention is Beach Read by Emily Henry. And this is one that it's more summer vacation kind of vibes. So I don't know if I'm going to be reading it when it's winter in Wisconsin. So we'll see if that's something that I pick up. I am a mood reader. So if I'm looking for something that makes me wish it's hot, and sunny outside, then I might do that. Otherwise, who knows? I might push it off until summer. This That's why I call this a floating TBR. Who knows when I'm actually going to read these books. The next two are Blitz and Snap by Alexa Martin. These are two separate books. They're just her next ones in the series that she's been doing. I absolutely adore her writing style as well. I'm a big football fan and these do take place in the world of the NFL with following girlfriends and wives and other significant others of the NFL football players. So I'm looking forward to reading those stories while it's football season just because you know me I love football and everything to do with it so I hope that I can dive into those stories as well. The next one that I want to pick up is Kiss My Cupcake by Helena Hunting. I fell in love with Helena Hunting's writing style past February when I read Good Luck Charm and I can't wait to read another one of her steamy adult romances and I really like the concept of, of this book and I'm going to wrap up my adult romance with my main anticipated read going into the fall that I'm still surprised I haven't picked up and that is Crazy Stupid Bromance by Alyssa K. Adams. If you've been following our channel for a while, you know that I am obsessed with Lissa K. Adams' Bromance Book Club series, and I cannot wait to read this next one. This one will probably be my next book purchase, just because I'm dying to get my hands on it. Probably won't wait until February. As soon as I get my hands on it, I will be reading it. So that wraps up all the book talk. Next, I have a major life update. This is Bologna. Yes, sweetie. We named her after the Roman goddess of war. At work last weekend, I had a client say that they found a stray wandering those streets while she was driving Uber and I scanned her for a chip and she did not have one. So I decided to take her home and we're learning a lot, <laughs> trying to learn patience and kind of getting used to each other. And we've got a long road ahead of us, but I just wanted to share my amazing news because I can't keep it to myself. So you'll probably be seeing her along with Stevie uh, in my videos going forward. We're just super excited to be welcoming her into our family and it'll be interesting to see how far she comes. So for now, be sure to follow us on Instagram and Goodreads. All the links will be in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Until next time, everyone. Bye.